some example for module 3 for structural theory 1 the idealization of the structures and assigning loadings to one-way system and or two-way system of flooring I will answer assignment number 2 and number 7 so number 2 the roof deck at the single story building is subjected to a dead load and live load of 6 kN per square meter if the parlance are spaced 1.2 meter and the bends are spaced 7.5 meter apart Determine the distributed loading that acts along the proline DF and the loadings that acts on the band at A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, let us draw the plan of the flooring. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 at 1.2 meter and the length of the frame is 7.5 meter so let us investigate if it is one way or two way so long length over short length 7.5 over 1.2 is 6.25 meter so this is greater than 2 therefore it is one way loading system therefore if it is one way loading system the flow of the loads is towards here at the edge beam For the edge beam, half of the tributary area, and for the center beam, is the whole tributary area. So the tributary area of the Parlin DF is 1.2 by 7.5. And for the edge beam, or edge Parlin, will be 0.6 multiplied by 7.5 therefore the assigned load is 6 kN per square meter so for the parlin at the edge AG will be 6 kN per square meter multiplied by 0.6 meter it will give us 3.6 kN per meter so this is the representation of the uniform load at the parlin a g and for the parlin at the center df will be 6 kN multiply by 1.2 meter it will give us 7.2 kN per meter so summing up the force vertical we can get the reaction at ra reaction at g reaction at t and rf so it is symmetrical so 3.6 multiplied by the whole length 7.5 will give us 13.5 for the edge beam reaction at point a in g and the reaction for d and f is 7.2 multiplied by 7.5 will give us 23.25 and then you idealize the parlance a b c d e and this is the representation this is a b c d e so 4 at 1.2 meter so we will assign the computed reaction from d beam d f and a g so it is similar for the h beam here 13.5 and 13.5 here for the center beam 23.25 and 23.25 so if the space is too small you can convert it to equivalent loadings so the equivalent loadings will be 3 times concentrated load so there are 3 concentrated load of 23.25 and 2 concentrated load of 13.5 so this is 4 at 1.2 so it will give us 20.16 kN per meter. This is the equivalent uniform load. So getting the reaction, summing up the force vertical onto reaction and over 2, this is 48.375. That is the reaction to the bends. And when you compute the equivalent uniform load, it will give you 
the similar answer. Okay, for number seven, solve number five. So the statement in the number five, the frame is used to support the wood deck in the residential dwelling. It gets the loading that acts along member B, G, and A, B, C, D. The live load from residential from the table is 1.92 kN per square meter. So if B will be 4.5 and A is equivalent to 3 meter, or let us say B is equivalent to 4 meter because I use the 4 meter instead of 4.5. So I do the floor plan representing all the framing so this is the idealization so this is a uh, two-way slab because i computed long length over short length that is four over three that is equivalent to one point thirty three less than two therefore this is two-way system so the flow of load you will draw the from the corner the 45 degrees and 45 degrees on the outset so the 45 degrees when I say 45 degrees it will give you the same length at the vertical and the horizontal so the ratio is one vertical and one horizontal therefore it has the same length so when uh, the construction of 45 degrees meet so it will be the end so this is 3 therefore half of it is 1.5 1.5 therefore here is also 1.5 and 1.5 and since this is 4 the center will be left 1 meter so therefore from the drawing you can recognize that the uniform loadings assigned on the framing will at here will be a triangular triangular and a b c d e triangular from the framing triangular and for b c and d f since this is the center structure will be the trapezoidal here and plus the trapezoidal from the other side and for the h beam should be one trapezoidal similar with the EH. Okay, assigning for uh, assigning load for AH and DF or DE uh, from the given live load 1.92 kN per square meter. So since the height of the tributary of the triangular is 1.5 we multiply it to 1.5 and since the height of the trapezoid is also 1.5 so you will multiply it to 1.5 so for the edge beam it will give us 2.88 kN per meter and for the edge uh, center beam BG and CF it will give us 2.88 also kN that is 1.92 multiplied by 1.5 the height of the trapezoid multiplied by 2 because it has the two trapezoidal loadings that uh, going to it therefore the uniform live load for the center beam is 5.76 kN per meter so this is the total length of 4 meter 4 meter so when you assign the assigning loadings to girder a b c d e so you will get the reaction at a reaction at b reaction at c and d so the reaction at a b c d is the computed reaction from the uh, uniform loads assigned to each one so for the h beam the assigned load is uh, for the trapezoid 2.88 you will get the equivalent concentrated load here and the triangular so this is two triangles uh, and one square so for the equivalent loading for the triangle is equals area one half 
multiply by height that is 1.5 multiply by base that is also 1.5 okay area of the triangle the height of the triangle is 2.88 and the base is 1.5 so one half of 1.5 multiply by 1.88 will give us 2.16 kilonewton that is concentrated load so since this is two triangles another 2.16 plus area of the equivalent concentrated load of the rectangle will be 2.88 multiplied by 1 we have the 1 meter left here this is 2.88 so summing up will give us 7.2 kilonewton so for the reaction, 7.2 over 2 will give us 3.6. That is reaction at 3 at point A and reaction at RD, point B. And for the reaction at point B and C, so let us solve here. The height of the Uniform load is 5.76. So for the area of the triangle, that is 1 half multiplied by 1.5 in the base, multiplied by 5.76. Since this is 2 triangle, multiplied by 2. That is will give us 5.76 multiplied by 1.5. That is 8.64. And area for the rectangle is 5.76 so summing up that is 14.4 kilonewton so over 2 will give us the reaction at RA and RB that is 3.6 uh, 7.2 reaction at B and reaction at RG that is 7.2 so that is 7.2, 7.2, and 3.6, 3.6, and this is the representation of the uniform load, triangular uniform load. In beam or girder A, B, C, D. So summing up the load vertical to reaction will give us 2 multiply by 3.6 plus 2 na 7.2 kilonewton plus triangular concentrated loadings that is 1 half multiply by 2.88 multiply by base that is 3 meter multiply by 3 also so rectangular or reaction at bends is equivalent to Will give us seventeen point twenty eight kilonewton.